everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you about the new upgrades in technology to, uh, to the overall design and functionality of Milwaukee's heated gear. It's now called Hexon, Hexon Heating Technology. Many of these changes resulted from feedback from, from folks like you, users like you. I'm going to walk you through the differences between the newer Hexon equipped garments and the older one, like the one I'm wearing now that I absolutely love, uh, and talk about improvements and innovations. Now there are a couple different heated Exxon garments. There's a tough shell jacket, the quiet shell jacket, and then the access jacket and vest. And I've been wearing this vest now for about three months or so. Um, so what did they do? Well, first of all, they sped up heating, heat up time. Hexon technology heats up to a maximum temperature in under two minutes, seven times faster than the previous model. Um, they, um, they increased the heating coverage. And what I mean by that is, uh, well, first of all, they say 40% more heat coverage uh, in the same footprint. So in the vest, it's up here and in the back, upper back area. Uh, this results in a more even distribution heat, enhanced uh, both, enhancing both your comfort and efficiency at heating. In contrast, the older models, they were 40% smaller, way less distribution warmth. And when you look at it with a thermal imager, um, the older heat vest, uh, you know, you could see these serpentine kind of uh, wires putting off heat. With the newer Hexon vest, puts off a huge swath of heat. And you can see the difference in the video, um, the serpentine wire versus the, the larger distribution heat. And you can actually feel the difference as well. So really nice. That's probably the best improvement for heating, right? One thing I remember from my older heated jacket, which I don't have anymore, is that it used to power down after warming up. Uh, so you put it on high and it would power down. This vest and the newer Hexon vest do not do that. They stay on until the battery runs out or to use set or change the setting. Um, there's a new adaptive heating. So I'm not 100% sure of how Milwaukee does this, whether they have a sensor or some sort of a thermometer built into the jacket. But according to Milwaukee, the new Hexon heating system can sense and adapt based on your environment. The technology can maintain the target heat level right across the temperature and extend runtime during kind of moderate or warmer temps, which is kind of good. Um, they improve durability of the material. So the Hexon garments feature flexible carbon nanotube heating elements, which are lightweight, strong, and band, uh, bendable without breaking. Now these heating elements are much more durable and flexible compared to the rigid elements in the older models. And it offers more comfort and longevity and obviously it's gonna last longer. So if you're like me, you're saying to yourself, what is a carbon nanotube, right? Carbon nanotubes are tiny, super strong tubes made from carbon atoms and arranged like a rolled up sheet of chicken wire. And unlike traditional carbon nanotubes, the flexible variety can bend and twist without breaking, kind of like a flexible straw or maybe a rubber band. This unique property makes it ideal for wearable technology, heated gear like this. Uh, some other improvements were insulation. They increased the garment insulation significantly. For example, on the tough shell uh, garments, it's three times warmer than the older ones. The access garments, like the vest, two times warmer than the older versions. Additionally, the gear includes um, adjustable kind of cuffs and waists, along with improved wind and water resistance, which I like a lot. The older jackets lack the level of insulation and water resistance found in, in these newer models. They've also improved the durability of the fabric. So Hexon uh, has like a, a better ripstop fabric, bonded fabric, double stitch seams, and it makes the garment more resistant to tears and abrasions. The access garments also include high wear zones for added protection, the jackets and stuff like that. Older models, they lacked these enhanced materials. They were less durable and the seams were less reinforced. Um, improvements to comfort and fit. So a key feature in the new Hexon gear is these elbow darts, just like a dart that you throw, and a drop tail hem, which improves comfort, right? If you're, not, if you're wondering what an elbow dart is, it's a small uh, diagonal fold sewn into the bend of the elbow, and it allows the fabric to move freely and prevents kind of bunching up when you bend your elbow and your arm. Uh, this results in a more ergonomic fit. Uh, the older models obviously didn't have this, and this came from user feedback. It was just, it's a much more comfortable uh, sleeve on the, on the jackets. 
I want to talk about a new power source for heating gear this year as well. It's been out for uh, a little bit. Um, Milwaukee now offers two battery combinations for the heated gear. So the first one is uh, what we're all used to. It's a M12 round battery that fits in all the power tools that you know the M12 battery line is. Um, and you know it's bulky, it's round, and it comes pretty much standard with the jackets. The second one is their new flat M12 power source. Um, I call it a slim line. It's flat, it's, it's really great. It's specifically designed for the heated gear, but it also can be used as a personal USB-C charging device. There's a port here for it. Um, currently, all Hexon gear ships with a standard round M12 battery holder or battery holder M12 battery and a charger, depending on what you're buying. This thing is gonna sell for $100 as an accessory. It's sold separately. Um, the new flat battery, um, it's a power source with app control. So you can get this free app on your phone. Um, it fully charges in 70 minutes. It can last up to 12 hours on low and three hours on high. Although I've been getting longer than three hours on high. So I, gotta, I probably should do a timer on that. Um, it has a three amp hour capacity uh, with its USB-C port and can charge devices at 15 watts and can recharge itself at 36 watts. Additionally, it connects via Bluetooth to this free app I was talking about. It's a Milwaukee heated gear app. Get it on your phone and you can control and monitor your heated gear, which is great. The flat battery, I will say this, is way more comfortable to wear, especially when operating a vehicle sitting back against a chair or something like that. Um, I will say this new uh, Hexon heated, uh, the, the new Milwaukee Hexon heated gear app, it's designed to work specifically with this battery only, the flat battery. It will not work with this setup. The um, one thing I will say for, for setting up the app, which I thought was super great from Milwaukee, they put a USB-C code right on the battery. I just scanned it, I uploaded the app, I was up and running within a minute or two. Um, you do not need the app to operate your heated gear, but it allows you to control all the functionality way more um, than you can from just pushing buttons. So what I mean by that is you can control the chest, the back, the pockets independently. You can control runtime preferences, personalize your settings. One cool feature they have is they have an LED dark mode so they can turn the LED light dark um, so it doesn't show. Great tactically for maybe law enforcement, military, I, I don't know. Um, once you set that up to dark mode, it will hold that memory even if you change the battery. You would have to go into the app to change it. There is a control lockout to prevent accidental changes to your settings. Um, this will reset if you disconnect the battery. So if you're, not, uh, if you're not hooked up to the app, then you just have to control it through your, your push buttons. Simple as that. And on the older garments, this is all you have, push buttons. Um, I wanna talk about compatibility of the flat battery because there's some confusion uh, regarding the flat battery's compatibility, this one. Um, I've seen some different reviews and things where people are, are given some different information. The flat battery is compatible and will power heat on all the older technology, all Milwaukee heating gear, including this older jacket. What I mean by that is that you can plug the Milwaukee garment into the new flat pack. You can plug this vest, old vest, into this new pack. The confusion comes into play when you want to plug in new Hexon garments to the older M12 power sources. So, uh, for example, the M12 battery holder or the top-off units, um, specifically the models that have single DC port ports on them like this. The Hexon garments use a two-prong DC plug, and the older garments use a one-prong DC plug. So the two-prong plug doesn't fit on the one-prong plug because it hits the housing. And I'll show you that in this video. Um, I have two older power sources that don't work with the Hexon two-prong plug. And they're the, um, the category 49, 24, 23-10. That's the top-off power source. And category number, uh, or catalog number, I guess it is, 4859-1201. So those are two power sources I have that don't work with the new plug. As far as price range, um, I'm not going to cover all the prices, but you know, I'll give you a range. The Tough Shell and the Quiet Shell jackets, they're priced between $299, $300, bucks and $259, $260. Uh, the Access jackets and vests range somewhere between $169 to $239. Remember, if you're going to go flat battery, you're going to add $99 to that. Um, my final thoughts on the 
on all of this is I, I really feel like Milwaukee made some significant improvements all based on user feedback and experience, you know, running through these with the repairs and callbacks and stuff. But the new Hexon heat technology, it marks a significant leap in both durability, functionality, and comfort. Really robust improvements with features like faster heat up, uh, adaptive heating, flexible carbon nanotube heating elements, say that three times fast, this new technology, it's going to offer a more efficient, comfortable, and longer lasting heating experience and product for you. It's an investment, right? So you want it to last. In my opinion, if you're going to wear the Milwaukee gear, then you absolutely need to budget for this battery. Um, it's far more comfortable than the bulky, the bulky round one. It's just, you know, laying against your back like that. I liked the access vest so much that I ended up buying a vest and a flat battery for everyone in my family as a gift. Um, I can tell you from experience of owning both the older technology vest and the newer vest is that the Hexon vest heats up faster, has better heat distribution, is more durable, which is kind of important to me as a, as a consumer. And in case you're wondering, I'm not gonna get rid of my old heated vest. Uh, it, I wear it in the shop, uh, I wear it in the job site. It, it works great still, it still warms me up. Um, I use it more, it's now designated kind of as a beater vest, and I, I don't beat it, but it's, I don't mind if it gets dirty or ripped or you know, I'm in conditions where it might get banged up, right? Um, my newer access vest, I use that for everyday wear, not at work. I'll wear it to estimates, uh, I wear it out and about town. Uh, it's awesome, it's, it's a great warming device. Um, when it starts to get worn down and the next technology maybe comes out, then maybe I'll relegate it down to a work vest. Um, look, I'm a fan of heated gear. I've been a fan for a long time. Uh, if you're in the market for heated gear and you need um, a heated vest or a jacket, you need to take a look at the Hexon gear. Milwaukee will, Milwaukee will be phasing out this older technology, so Hexon will be the only available option to you, but you need to take a look at it. It's great stuff. Um, I was impressed. Uh, they keep, you know, they keep kind of trailblazing and, and uh, leading the way on this on this kind of stuff. And I'm really impressed with where they're taking some of these categories that they're building up. I'm Rob Robillard. I really hope you enjoyed this review. It was a little bit different, kind of a comparison of older versus new technology. Just kind of getting you guys up to speed on what's out there. Um, if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell as well so that you're notified of all our videos when we put them out, you get a notification. Guys, we'll see you at the next video, take care.